Hey, Sheena, I hope you're doing well. Wanted to produce this website review for you and hopefully give you a few tips that you can use to really start making a difference and increasing some traffic to your website. I look forward to following up with you and getting your thoughts. All right, we cover three things when we do these reviews, content, citations, and backlinks. And we always like to start with content first because stop me if you've heard this before, but with Google, content is king. And we've got your website pulled up here and it's a beautiful looking website. We've already talked about your branding and how impressive that is. I'm really, really happy you got that done and it looks amazing. So congrats on that. Um, we really recommend having about a thousand to fifteen hundred words on this homepage and you actually do a really good job. You've got a lot of content on here, um, but we really want to incorporate some keywords and it just depends. You know, we've talked about a little bit of what you want to rank for. You know, coaching might not be the thing, but we kind of can go through it together and see what you really want to incorporate in here and see if there's actually traffic on Google for those keywords. So pulling up a, a peer or a competitor here, Jackie Carr, great looking site, but she doesn't have too much content on the homepage. You've actually done a great job um, um, outdoing her on that. So you'll probably be ranking higher than this pretty soon just based on the content, but we'll go over the other factors here in a little bit. Over here at Curate Well, um, similar to your website as far as the content here, they've got you know a thousand to fifteen hundred words here, um, doing well with the content, and really incorporating that to that homepage. Again, the back pages we really like to see five hundred to seven hundred and fifty words, and you all have blogs up, which is very important in your field, and you can use that blog to keep adding content as you find keywords that are relevant to what you want to rank for. And again, we can continue the conversation as to what those words are that you want to kind of target. But when someone types in professional coaching in Denver, Google's really looking to send them to, to a website that's relevant to that search. So that's kind of where the content and the blog really comes into play. Um, again, depending on what you want to rank for, those are the things you want to include. And we'll do a little bit of research to see um, how much traffic those are those are producing. Those are kind of buyer intent keywords, especially if it has a location you know, professional coaching or mentor in Denver, Colorado, people are searching and ready to make a deal when, when that search goes down. The next thing we wanna uh, cover here is we're gonna go over to Ahrefs. This tool really lets us see what's working well for websites and what's not. And obviously your website's brand new, so don't worry about this, but you have only got one organic keyword and no organic traffic coming to your website. You obviously have traffic coming in, but not for these searches, you know, when someone's searching for that, you know, coaching or what a mentor or whatever it might be, they're not coming, you're, you're not being found just yet, but it's something we can work on for sure. Over here at Jackie Carr, we can see they've got 447 organic keywords and getting almost 200 clicks a month to their website. And over here at Curate Well, um, looks like their, their website's pretty new within the last year. So 94 organic keywords and 16 organic traffic coming in. So you got kind of want to go in here and see what they're ranking for. I did a little research in here. There's not too much in in um, Curate Well as far as keywords are concerned. So we'll go over here to Jackie Carr. Um, she's got great brand rec recognition, um, 100 searches a month just for the name. Um, but goal coaching, if you see here, that gets searched for 150 times a month. It's got a keyword difficulty of 17. So not too difficult to rank for, but not too easy either. Um, she's ranked in the fifth position for that and getting 10 clicks a month to her website for when someone just types in goal coaching into Google. And those are kind of the things you want to look for. I know you kind of want to build a national and global brand, so you'll be careful to choose, um, pick and choose which keywords you want to use. But that's where it's useful to have the blog so you can use some of these organic local keywords. Um, so the second thing we'll move on to here is citations. When we do that, Professional Coaching Denver, when you type that into a Google search, that's a buyer intent keyword phrase that we're searching for. And those are the things you wanna incorporate into your content and into your blog. When you type that in, that first section that pops up here is Google Ads or Google AdWords, Paperclip, Paperclick, excuse me. Um, there's uh, tons of different names for these and people are paying to be at the top here. Obviously that next section here, this is called the Google Map Pack or GMB. And what gets you into here are citations. And I did a little research, um, your, co your competition or your peers here, Jackie Carr and Curate Well, um, and yourself don't really have GMBs. These are more for brick and mortar services, sometimes like e-commerce stores and people in, in, um, in the fields that you're in with production and you wanna keep like a, a professional profile with the webpage. You're not necessarily using 
uh, directories to, to locate your business. So Google Map Pack occasionally is not useful for that, but I, I did find Curate well that they do have a GMB and a Google Map Pack inside of Denver. So it might be an opportunity for you to take advantage of and start drawing more traffic. Because when you incorporate the content, the GMB, and the next thing we're gonna cover, which is backlinks, when all three of those phases are working well, that's when your website really starts to make a difference in drawing that organic traffic. Now, coming back into Ahrefs here, we can tell you've already got seven backlinks coming in and five referring domains, which is great. You want to have that balance um, over here at Jackie Carr. If we go in here, um, we'll check over here at, uh, at Curate Well as well. They've got 1,400 backlinks and 45 referring domains. Jackie Carr, they've got 11,000 backlinks, so definitely a, quite a gap there, and that's kind of what you, you strive to achieve for here. 157 referring domains. It's not great, but they do have great balance here, and the power. this kind of shows you what power they have from their website. Um, so you kind of want to have you want to go in here and see what the competition is getting listed for. Go after all of these and make sure that the links you're getting are as powerful as these, if not more, and get a bunch more so that you're really outranking them. And not all backlinks are created equal, though. You want to have content that's relevant to, to your industry linking back to your website. You don't necessarily want to have a backlink from a mechanic, for example. And commenting on blogs with content that's relevant to your industry and your website will help create backlinks. Um, adding citations will sometimes help and asking friends to link back from their websites will help as well. In closing, we want to recap what we went over. You're doing a great job with your content. A thousand to fifteen hundred words on the homepage is what you really want to have, which you, you're doing great with. Um, on the back pages in your blog, Again, 500 and 750 um, uh, words for the back pages and the blog articles and really incorporating these keywords that you want to target, whichever ones those might be. Citations, again, for your industry, it's not required just because of, of the industry that you're in and the competition and the, and the type of feel, look and feel you want to have for your online business. Um, it's not required to have a GMB, but it's something to think about. And backlinks you really want to show google that that you're the authority when someone searches for professional coaching or for a mentor in denver whatever it might be that you really want to strive for and who knows that's something that you might not have discovered yet uh, but it's something we can really talk about and i can do some research research here in hrefs and really see which keywords are getting traffic and which ones are not and which ones are worth to to go after for your industry and for your website specifically and again, commenting on blogs with content that's relevant to yours will help um, citations and asking friends to link back from their websites will help as well. And if you implement these strategies, you can definitely start drawing more traffic from Google and start increasing these organic clicks that are coming to your website each month and hopefully increasing your, your client base and being able to reach more people, which is your ultimate goal. And I hope that you found this video informative. Again, feel free to take these tips and do what you can to improve your traffic with them. Thanks for your time. And I look forward to our meeting on Tuesday. Take care, Sheena.